Today's best mix, Mix 94.9. It's the Mixed Up Morning Show with Ashley and Devo. Good morning, 628 and 65 right now. It's time now for your not-so-fake news. So there's a Dairy Queen in Calgary that's been dealing with a mysterious, like, smell since 2015. What? Sounds so For gross. years? For years. So what they're planning to do is they're offering free blizzards for an entire year for anybody that can actually identify what this nasty smell is. Can hmm. you imagine just a bunch of people from your town coming up to your business, sniffing smelling around. around, literally sniffing around? Um, that would gross me out because maybe I would find things I didn't want to know about. Yeah, it's the body that was hidden in the basement of this building. Gross. What could it be that would be positive? It's not like they're going to say, <gasps> The manager hasn't There's showered. There's a strawberry patch underneath the building. It smells great. Right? It can't be a good smell. It's going to be gross. It's not like it smells like chocolate and flowers. Remember the time a dead mouse was in this building and yes. it smelled for not, like a month? Not in this building, in this room. And I don't know if you remember, but the afternoon guy at the time had to still do the show in here. And so yeah. he would like do a break and then he'd run out the hallway door and like throw up. Well, then someone had the brilliant idea to just completely douse the room in Lysol. And like so that it, would help. And so it was just, it's yeah. like when people smoke cigarettes and then they just spray cologne all over themselves. Now you just smell like smoke and cologne. Yeah, it, it was, was bad. Mouse and Lysol. They were lighting candles and everything, and I was in my office. And I'm like, I can't smell the mouse from over here, but I can smell all that stuff, and I'm gonna get sick. Yep, it was too much. I remember that. It wasn't that long ago either. I say you burn the Dairy Queen to the ground you just and have start, to start from start scratch. Yep. Yes. A woman in Louisiana just went viral because she's doing something like seriously disturbing. It reminds me of Silence of the Lambs, kind of. Um, she's selling teddy bears made out of raw chicken. Nope. You could nope. cook them and eat them, she says, but that her chicken bears have gotten so famous right now, she actually pulled down the listing. Why? I don't know, but I looked at a photo and it looks like a teddy bear sewn together from parts. It's the scariest thing. If you got this for your kid, they'd have nightmares for the rest of time. Now I know what to get Hannibal Lecter for Christmas. Seriously, right? Oh, apparently 89. Wait, can you even touch that? Well, I mean, you're going to have to wash your hands really good if you touch it. It's possibility of like salmonella all over there. Who thinks of this? Right. You can't have it out of the fridge for very long either because you're going to have to toss it. But I think they said it was a fun activity to do with your kids uh. to deconstruct or like bake this meat bear and then eat a teddy bear. Honestly, That's disgusting. That might be what the smell at the Dairy Queen is. Maybe. Somebody left one of these behind. Uh-huh. Because the, they don't stay good for very long. Apparently, 89 cent hamburgers and $1 sodas really add up over half of a century because right now McDonald's is holding a new contest where you can win a McGold card. I don't even want to eat there, but I, I want that card. I want that. You can get free food for life if you win. So you get two meals a week over the next 50 years, which I don't. Why is that life? Yeah, what? I say 100. Yeah, quit predicting my death, <laughs> McDonald's. They value that this is going to be worth like $36,000, which is roughly $7 per meal, and I want it. <laughs> and that's your not-so-fake news right here on Mix 94.